This is the story of Jesus and the synagogue in the upper room. After Jesus came back from the desert, across from the river Jordan, he came home to Nazareth. This is the synagogue in the village of Nazareth, where Jesus grew up. Jesus went into the synagogue, as was his custom. He went to the reading area in the synagogue. And he unrolled the scroll of Isaiah. And he read from it. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because he has anointed me to preach good news to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim release to the captives and recovery of sight to the blind, to let the oppressed go free, to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor. When he was through, he rolled up the scroll and he returned it to its place. And he sat down. Now he sat down and he wanted to discuss the reading. And he said something like this. Today, these scriptures have been fulfilled by you hearing them. It has come true. Now the people heard what Jesus had to say, and they were very angry. He was not the Messiah. He was the son of Joseph and Mary, the son of a carpenter. The people were so angry, they took Jesus from the temple and took him to the edge of the village where there was a cliff. They wanted to throw him off. Jesus walked right through the crowd, all the people, and he went into the hills. Now many days had passed, and Jesus had gathered the twelve disciples. He continued to do his work. And then he turned to Jerusalem with the twelve for the last time. Now many days had passed, and Jesus gathered the twelve disciples. And they continued to do their work. And on that Sunday, when they arrived in Jerusalem, Jesus taught in the temple. And then on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, he also taught in the temple. And then on Thursday, the guards came looking for Jesus, but they couldn't find him. He had left and went into the hills. And on that evening of that Thursday, Jesus took the 12 disciples and he climbed the stairs and he went into an upper room to have his last supper with the 12. This is the table that Jesus had the last supper with the disciples.
After Jesus and the disciples had eaten everything that they could, and they were filled and satisfied, Jesus did something very strange. The disciples weren't really sure what he was doing. Jesus took a piece of bread, he broke it, and he thanked God for it, saying, saying, to the, saying to his disciples that when you share bread like this, know that I will be there. They were very confused. Because he was already with them. They didn't understand. And then Jesus took a cup of wine. He gave thanks to God and shared it with the twelve. And then he said something like this. When you share the wine like this, I will be there. Once again, they were confused. They didn't understand. They said, what could this mean? The twelve didn't understand, but they would never forget. Later, they would understand. I wonder what this could be. The synagogue, the reading table, the scrolls of Isaiah, the synagogue and the upper room, they're joined together to form a model of Christian worship the joining of the Old and New Testament, and much, much more. 